So in this video, I wanted to take a quick look at a refill. This is called the Pelican 338 Rollerball Refill. It's made for a few different Pelican pens, but it'll actually fit a variety of pens if you uh, are willing to hunt around or do a very slight modification, uh, you know, put an insert in there. Uh, so here's the refill. It uh, sells for about $7. It's available in fine, medium, broad, blue, and black. I bought it in blue and broad, which tends to be my preference. Uh, as you can see, it's a longer, skinnier type rollerball refill. Uh, thin front end, a little setback here, and then a metal body. It's about the shape and size of a... Uh, of a Pentel LR refill, a little skinnier, but uh, you can immediately recognize it as being somewhat close to that LR or a uh, Pilot G2 refill. It is uh, comparable in size to this Mont Blanc refill, uh, which I know some people like, some people don't like. I think it's a pretty solid refill, but you can see immediately very similar. The uh, Mont Blanc is a little bit longer and it has that little inset piece right here. You can see the Mont Blanc on the left versus the Pelican on the right. Uh, but that really shouldn't be a problem for fitting to a pen since this little piece right here would be easy to replicate over here. Both the uh, Pelican and the Mont Blanc have metal bodies, which are cool. And the uh, Mont Blanc has the threading here, but I don't think that really makes any difference. And both are about the same diameter of the tip which ends up being uh, pretty important uh, based on the pens you use. If it's too thick, it can be a real problem. So let's set aside the Mont Blanc for a second. And uh, again, there's that Pelican. Goes for about seven, eight dollars. And uh, I'll be using it in this body right here. This is a Pentel Energel. Uh, this is that clear Energel, the limited edition in free one. Uh, but with no modifications, turns out this is a perfect fit. So uh, not only do I get a nice body, so I like this body. It's comfortable to write with. It's a uh, larger diameter body. Let me see what is going on here. Uh, what happens is sometimes these little, the grip gets pushed back. There you go. Perfect click, no modifications, and the extension spot on. And then through that clear body, that infree, uh, you could see the uh, stainless steel refill, which is pretty cool in my book. It looks like very nice and very technical. Kind of the blue comes through nicely. It'd be nice if uh, it was all stainless steel, kind of like the Mont Blanc but uh, still very cool here. 4K, I don't know why it says 4K on it, but that's very cool. So I, I've actually really been enjoying this refill. I don't tend to use too much Pelican equipment and I've never used their refills before, except not that I can remember. I've had their ink at some point, uh, but never one of their refills. So do a quick writing sample. This is the Pelican and this is called the three Three eight roller ball in broad. Obviously, it's in blue. This is definitely a, a wetter and more watery refill. You can see right there in the three. There's a little bit of kind of feathering, and this is on a Clairefontaine paper, which is like a pretty nice structural paper. Uh, so it's. Definitely a little bit of a watery ink. If you want a rollerball with some, uh, it's putting down more ink, this is one to choose. Do a quick comparison. Here we have uh, Pendel Energel, which is what was in here, but this is a 1.0 millimeter, which would be roughly comparable to that broad. Although Pelican doesn't say the, uh, the diameter. It's probably about a 1.0 millimeter. So this is the Pentel Energel 1.0 millimeter. 
and this is even wetter and broader still. Uh, so if you're like this 1.0 millimeter, but it's a little bit too much for you, uh, the Pelican might be a nice way to go. And you can see the Pelican's are kind of a little bit more under control. Uh, and it, it feels a hair smoother to me. This is a very nice, smooth refill. Feels like it's a high-end rollerball. Obviously, the Pentel Energel is quite nice too, but uh, the Pelican's just a little bit more refined. And you can see it's a little bit of a deeper blue, uh, which I tend to prefer. And then, uh, just for reference, I have this Mont Blanc Medium. I know uh, this is probably the closest comparison. There's some scribbling there. Uh, Mont Blanc's not quite as dark as the Pelican, and not quite as interesting as the Pentel. Uh, it's kind of a lighter blue, more like a uh, ballpoint, old school ballpoint type blue. And this medium is definitely thinner than either of those two. And this is uh, just for comparison, Mont Blanc uh, medium. So you can pause it if you want to zoom in, uh, but you should be getting an idea across of what's going on here. Uh, but that about covers it. This is the Pelican 338. If you're looking for a higher end roller ball refill uh, that'll fit in a lot of different pens, especially your pen tail bodies, uh, I actually do like this Pelican. It's definitely been fun to write with. It's probably not something I would buy every day at $8. It's not $7 to $8. It's not super cheap, but I, I like this broad. I would say it is, uh, for the most part, better than the Mont Blanc. Uh, but for the bang for your buck, it's really hard to uh, not just go with the Pentel. Those LR refills really get the job done. But if you want to just switch things up and have some fun, the uh, Pelican 338 Rollerball is pretty cool. So that's it for now. Thanks for watching.